This year we decided to head to Tegaki on the Greek Isle of Kos, staying at the Astir Odysseus Resort. This is a video diary of our 10 day stay. Well, we have now arrived at uh, Kos, uh, checked into the hotel, unpacked, and we're now just exploring the, uh, the compound at Kos. Uh, she's staying in the Astir Odysseus, I think it is, in Tagaki. Um, and we're just exploring on our first day, having a wander around. First full day um, at the hotel, and we had breakfast, and we spoke to a car rental company, and we've actually hired a car for Thursday, which is uh, the day after tomorrow. So we got tomorrow to fill, and the plan is to go into Cost Town, um, and then from Thursday for four days, we've hired a car to try and get out and explore a bit more of the island. Uh, but for today, we've uh, now decided it's just a bit of relaxation on the first day. And we're going to head down to the beach, and maybe have a bit of a snore corner, a few drinks on the beach bar. Try and enjoy the rest of the day. We're day three already, and uh, just had breakfast. Looked at the bus timetable, and we're just waiting for the bus to take us into Kos Town and explore uh, the town of Kos. The bus stop is literally a two minute walk from outside of the hotel. Uh, you come out of the hotel, turn right, and it's the bus stop across the road. 
and we've been told by uh, the staff at the hotel that we should be expected to pay two euros each for a single journey um, and obviously the same on the way back and I think it's a circular route um, bus number four of uh, an old amphitheatre in Cost Town. I don't know if his microphone's picking it up or not, but whatever the insects are, they're not make a racket. You hear that all over Cost. be something like uh, the Roman equivalent of the Marlowe in Canterbury but uh, the echoing of these insects is uh, still prevalent well, we managed to hire a car on uh, what is our fourth day I think uh, for four days from the representative here at the hotel from Cosmos for four days cost us 235 euros which is about what, 53, 54 euros a day which ain't too bad that's fully insured for any damage the only stipulation was you're not allowed to go off-roading with it but uh, it's a tiny little Toyota Igo that uh, I think it will do for us first experience of driving in a foreign country in a tiny little Toyota Igo. Uh, it was quite nippy, it was good enough for what we need to get around here and we come out of um, our resort and got onto the main road and we've ended up in uh, a place called Kapalos I think and we'll just we'll stroll around and see what's here before we uh, decide what we're going to do for the rest of the day and it'll probably consist of more driving around and just finding other locations like this. So, quite a nice little place. Lots of places to eat and drink.
to Kefalos and uh, just followed the main road really and we've come down to a place called Limionis I believe and uh, there's a bit of a car park and a restaurant and just this gorgeous bay down here that you, know, you can see straight through the water people are down here snorkeling have a bit of a wander around and I'm probably gonna have a, a bit of a go myself but it looks absolutely lovely never have found it without a car um, first time I've driven abroad and I don't regret it at all it's a little unnerving um, so if you're in two minds whether to do it or not I would say do it but just take your time be careful keep your eyes um, peeled because there are quite a few quads and scooters that uh, rush up at the side of you but uh, generally speaking for the short time that I've been driving uh, this morning I found it pretty easy you just got to keep your your eyes open for the road markings and, and roundabouts and things like that. But, uh, roundabouts is another issue. I was told that you're supposed to give way to traffic coming onto the roundabout, but in my experience so far, that just doesn't happen. <laughs> Well, after last night's rush job, um, trying to come down and capture sunset, I've actually got here quite early tonight. Got here about an hour before sunset. But uh, obviously the sun sets and dips below the, the mountains um, just off of the resort. So by about 10 past, quarter past eight, it was all over last night. So I got here in plenty of time. Um, there seem to be a few people still around the, the pool area. And, uh, you know, I don't want to intrude on their privacy. So I'm, I'm trying to pick a composition which um, is not in anybody's way. Uh, I just want to capture a nice sunset of the resort. But, um, we'll see how it goes. Today we come down to Zia, uh, which I believe is the highest point um, on the Greek island of Kos. So we're actually looking for a, um, a restaurant out here uh, to eat dinner at, which is like a, a, a quite a famous sunset view. Let's get that coach a chance to come past. I wasn't expecting um, Zia to be quite as beautiful as it is. We just parked the car in the car park, walked around the corner, and we found this typical Greek taverna on the corner. It was very nice, and come round and we saw this kind of mountain range. I've no idea what they are, but it uh, looks very picturesque so far. So if you're in Kos Island, it's well worth a visit up to, to Zia. It's a very nice little town, quite uh, markety, lots of uh, places to buy gifts from. Um, we found the, the restaurant, you can just see uh, the balcony here, which is, um, where is it, it's just, it's just, where, there. And that's where we plan to have dinner at some point. We may have to make a, a reservation though, but we'll, we'll find out.
Well, we now found our way up to uh, the National Park, I think it is, at Zia. It's a bit of a, a nature trail, uh, full of a few animals and uh, apparently a few resting spots, picnic sites and uh, a viewpoint. We've only made it a short distance so far. Entry fee was very reasonable, three, three euros each and the ticket lasts all day. So we're just making our way through the park now and uh, seeing what it is. So far it's, uh, it's very nice. Well worth the uh, reasonable three euros anyway. Well, I think we made it to the, uh, the viewpoint at the top. Uh, it's only really a short walk and there's just a few animals that uh, kind of a line or dot on the route on the way up. Um, there's a nice little kiosk um, for refreshments. But when you get up to the top here, there's just this lovely viewpoint that's been really well done. There's um, you know, a few hammocks, a few swings, picnic benches. It's lovely and it's well worth the three euros just to come up here and see this view alone. It's fantastic about it. Well, we've been here at Zia all day now. Um, wasn't the intention, but it was such a lovely place. We've had um, a wander around, a bit of shopping, had a bit of lunch, a few drinks. Um, we wandered around the National Park, back down to the shops again. And because of the time of day, we've now taken the decision that we're actually gonna stay and try and capture sunset, which originally wasn't the intention. So I've actually left my filters back in the hotel. So I'm gonna have to try and shoot the sunset without any grad filters or anything like that. So uh, I may have to bracket a few images as I think I'll be shooting more or less directly into the sun as it sets. It's a lovely viewpoint at the top of the uh, National Park here. And like I say, we paid our three euro entrance fee when we first came up this morning. And you can come and go as you please all day long with that three pound or three euro ticket. Um, we just asked a lady on the gate what time they shut and she said that they would close um, probably about nine o'clock, which would give us enough time to, to capture sunset. Uh, we timed ourselves walking up, it only took 15 minutes, and that's at a really slow pace with a couple of stops and, and a toilet stop, so we've got plenty of time to, to capture sunset and then uh, have a leisurely stroll back down again. So hopefully we'll get an image, and I'm now just trying to work my way around and try and find some sort of composition. Um, at the moment, we seem to be all alone, but yeah, we've got an hour and, uh, hour and 40 minutes till the sunset so maybe the crowds will arrive before then who knows Today we've come down to a place called Paolo Pile. Uh, it's taken a, a little bit of finding. Uh, we're coming to the town of Pile. I think we found a supermarket for um, probably one of the first times since we've been here that was open. So we popped in the supermarket, bought a few provisions, and uh, spoke to one of the locals and asked him about this place. And uh, we managed to uh, get over the language barrier, and he pointed us in the right direction. Um, it's a little bit steep on the way in, a little bit of a narrow road, not too bad. But, uh, you know, having not been used to the car and not being used to driving on the wrong side of the road as far as I'm concerned. I think the car clutch, etc. may have suffered a little bit on the way up here. But uh, we're here now and just making our way up to uh, 
the top, I believe there's a, a 10 minute walk upstairs to get to the site and uh, I'm just taking it easy on the way up. I've managed to uh, find the stairs leading up to the uh, cafe um, and a bit of a look out at the top. Um, just a word of warning if you're coming up, make sure you wear some sensible footwear, it's not really the, the kind of uh, terrain for flip flops. Driven a short distance now and come down to a place called Cardamina along the coast and we're just making our way along the coast now just trying to find a few uh, little hidden resorts. Today we come down to Ascapillion, one of the uh, most popular sites on Kos for ruins. Um, cost us eight euros each to get in um, from where we're staying. It took us about nine or ten minute drive. Well, the site here at Ascapillion in Kos um, is the site of an ancient healing temple and medical centre where Hippocrates once practiced his medicine thousands of years ago. Uh, it cost us eight euros to get in. It was a nine-minute drive from where we're staying, and uh, it's um, quite a nice site. Much of it's still in place. Quite a few stairs to walk up. Um, I don't think it's an all-day excursion and there's no cafeteria or anything I believe but uh, if you're in the area it's well worth a walk uh, uh, come down and have a look minute drive now down to the Basilica of St Stephen, this little beach uh, where there's an island just a short distance off the coastline um, with the church. Not quite sure if you can see it. It's a lovely location. I've had a shot, um, I've managed to get the, the DSLR on the gorilla pod and just popped it on top of a part of the ruins I think. I've also got a circular polarizer on to try and take some of the reflection out of the sea. I've got a three stop soft ND grad and the Lee six stop filter just to try and smooth out this water a bit and it's giving me an exposure time of about one second at the moment and it's not coming out too bad. Uh, I think the only problem from this viewpoint is you can't really tell that it's an island um, and you might be better to try and move around uh, to so you can get to see both sides of it so you can actually tell it's an island but uh, we'll have a look in a minute.
Well, that's it, last day of the holiday. We're um, just packing up there in the hotel room, just waiting to check out. Um, then we've got to check out by midday, but we're not being picked up till two for the airport. So we'll have a couple of hours to kill. Probably uh, sit up in the hotel lobby, have a few refreshments or something before uh, in a taxi to the airport. It's been a great week, or 10 days. Um, but as always, it's always nice to get back home again. Um, we've really, really enjoyed the holiday. The Astir Odysseus in um, Tagaki Kos, beautiful place. Um, it's a little bit far out from anywhere else, so yeah, I advise you to hire a car for at least a few days to go and see the rest of the island. It's the first time I ever hired a car, and I don't regret it. Um, it took a little bit of getting used to, but once you do, uh, it gives you that freedom to travel wherever you like. Kos being quite a small island, there wasn't anywhere that we couldn't get to in the car and we managed to visit everywhere that we, we wanted to. Um, had a great time. Um, not quite sure what I was going to do with the video when I started. So uh, obviously you'll have seen it before I do. So I hope you, uh, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll see you again soon.